What's up guys, and of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, of course, the Skyrender, and today we're going up against Esquilo, and I really hope I'm not butchering that name. He's a fire gym leader in the Lithio, and I went up against him using double battle, so a little VGC-ish, and um, yeah, he beat me down to bloody pulp. My team was obviously not designed for that, and I actually thought he was the war gym leader, so... I may or may not have the wrong moves when I was going up against it, so it, it was a terrible experience overall. But it definitely showcased that he is very, very formidable in battle. And uh, going into this battle, he said that he was not inexperienced in um, in singles, but rather he was being feeling a bit uncomfortable in it. And uh, looking through his team here, that uncomfortable doesn't mean you know that you are inexperienced, because looking through his team here, he got a great synergy going. And I definitely was feeling it going into this battle. He is using a type lotion, Glaceon, Marowak, Ludicolo, Mr. Mime, and Lapras. And I had no idea which one I will start off with. I was thinking maybe Mr. Mime? Maybe. <laughs> and I myself using Articudo, Gramble, Virision, Garbodor, Claydol, and Hillisk. So as you can see, there are a lot of old Aria pokes that actually went to NU here. And I really wanted to use them, and uh, I really wanted to use a Verision for quite some time. And Verision is not as hard hitting as people are making it out to be, but it definitely has a, like it has a big strength. And Clay Duel and Articuno are great teammates because they can actually do something that's real nice and get away with the rapid with the rapid spin, get away with the stealth rocks. And also my Articuno is with Heal Bell and Extra Sensory. So, it is more versatile than your standard set, but, um, yeah, I don't think that helps out this much this battle, sadly, but with all this in mind, of course, let's go. So, at the start here, I really just wanted to wall up what I was in. I was kind of hoping that, in worst case scenario, he might bring Type Lotion. Uh, so, I'm going to start with Articuno. Like I said, if we're bringing the, the Type Lotion, then I just could go for an accessory and get Eruption down, so some kind of damage. So, I did predict him to switch out, so I did not go for Deep Freeze. Um, yeah, that that is obviously is not gonna work. And uh, while you know, the Lapras damage doesn't really do that much damage, it still is it's definitely like a stalemate here. I could win it with Freeze Dry, but I was predicting him to switch out here, so I did the same thing. I was hoping for him to actually bring, well, anything besides the Mr. Mime, to be honest. And what do you know? <laughs> he brings the Mr. Mime. So I was like, alright. I could probably take a hit and then retaliate with Gang Shot and take it out. And he goes for Confusion with Technician and whatnot. That is actually an extremely smart move to have. And I don't take that that well. I do hit the Gang Shot, but he has Focus Sash. And I was like, oh no, you're kidding. Uh, and I really, really didn't want my um, um, Garbodor to, um, to get. Um, yeah, to get any lower HP actually. So I decided to switch out to my Batathul, which is my Clay Duel. But it actually goes to Trick Room, so props to him for doing that. Uh, so I was really thinking that he was gonna stay in, so I just wanted a rapid spin kill. Me being an idiot, of course, because he switched out and goes into Glaceon. And um, yeah, that that is not a good time now, is it? And obviously, rapid spin does, oh, I guess one bit damage, maybe? I saw the meter move. But I decided to go to Articuno to stall out the um, Trick Room turns by going for Roost here, and like I said, pretty much stall him out. But he does score a crit here, and he does so much damage. It's obviously his specs, but I am not entirely sure that crit matter. But I definitely I probably would have switched out my Articuno if it were in a better HP range, because obviously Articuno is my best response for the Lodicolo, which is now free to go for anything, to be honest. And uh, I'm gonna bring Prima Poo, my Garbodor, back in here, because I know I can go for a Drain Punch and, you know, recover back. But this Glaceon is just too strong. Too strong for my Prima Poo to survive, and uh, it's going down. And, yeah, that was a huge misplace for two turns, and I go into Verision. I need to play aggressive now, he was definitely forcing my hand. And, of course, he's just gonna sack play his Mr. Mime here. I went for close combat, like... Like a freaking idiot, like, yeah, there is no tomorrow, no tomorrow. <laughs> so, obviously here, my Verision can't really, it, it can't do any magic from this point on. And I know, uh, since he has a type lotion, that there is not so many things I can do. And he actually went for Lodicolo, which is lucky for me, I guess, because I know I can deal with Lodicolo. It's worse when it comes to other pokes, of course. And I go to Saladin, my Hillisk. 
And I was not expecting a water move. I'm just, I, he was probably my best bet when it comes to ice damage overall. He does, you know, roughly half. I mean, of course, it's a crit there too, so, ugh. But I just went from Hyper Voice because since he has the Marowak around, I can't go for a Volt Switches, and I knew that. And uh, <laughs> Hyper Voice does enough damage. It's a, such an extreme move, really. It really, really hurts, and it's great to see that. It really is. Uh, so anyway, he's gonna go to his princess, which is Lapras, and knowing that I'm locked in, I'm not going to take a chance with my Saladin. I really needed the good health too. So I go to Snappy, my beautiful, wild, dangerous Granbull, and it's full defensive. It really isn't a response to this Pokemon. It's more a check, if anything, if even that, to be honest. So I just, I'm gonna go for Thunder Wave, and had I played smart here. I should definitely made this call to be honest and switch it back into my <laughs> heal list because he went for an hydro pump and it does v very 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 much damage to be honest and um, had I went for Saladin you know turn back my heal list I'll definitely get some HP back which was very very needed after the crit for Lodicolo but I didn't make that call of course and um, yeah it's gonna actually to backfire on me a bit here because even though my Granbull actually survived that ice shot after Intimidate, you know, I get some fair amount of damage going here. He's still gonna be able to take me out, and um, obviously I can't switch out my heal list now because of the given situation and whatnot. And really, my Granbull is down for the count after that Hydro Pump, and uh, he's not gonna do any more than what's it called magic this time. So, anyway, thank you, Granbull. <laughs> Awesome seeing you. So anyway, I'm going to Saladin, and I'm just going for Volt Switch because, like I said there, with the um, with his Marowak gun, I'm freely go for any Volt Switches that I want to, which is really nice and something that I should have gotten much more earlier if I was for. I didn't force that to happen. I really didn't. So anyway, I'm going to Rissian because it's my safest bet. I was really, really hoping that his um, his Cyplosion wasn't scuffed. But sadly, I am wrong, this thing is Scarf, but that's not the best thing. The best thing is that Brisian standing tall here, you know, taking the flames, dealing with the fire, and actually is not taken out. I have a salt vest in this thing, and I really, really didn't think it was gonna matter throughout this battle, but here he comes, here he comes, <laughs> he took it. Obviously, I don't take it out, and I'm not able to take a club or a, another rupture of this thing, even though he's nerfed to uh, pretty much... Uh, yeah, pretty much like gust levels to be honest. So I switched to my bear tool, and here's the second time I should have made a, a different call, but I didn't do it. Uh, which is, is, I was obviously he was gonna switch out there to something, and of course my hill list would have been a better pick of choice when it comes to that. But I did stay in, I went for the earth power. I have signal beam with this thing, so I actually have a respond for grass types, but I didn't make that call, and that really really sucks. So I forced to switch out there to my hill list. And, you know, I'm not gonna take this fake out that well either. Um, but that is not the worst thing. I know I can at least take at least one ice beam before going down and do some damage. But he gets another ice beam crit here. And I was like, face palm, really? <laughs> really? <laughs> alright, alright, I can do this. I, I still can do this. And I decided going to Rissian, thinking that, you know, he's gonna go for an ice beam and try and take me out. But no, he switched out. And I'm, yeah, I may or may not have done a wrong move here because I did go for an Exorcist here. And it is not enough to take out the Type Lotion. I should really have seen this switch coming too. So there's like the third call I didn't do. And I was playing it really, really safe here, weren't I? Definitely did like the, um, the honest place here. The place that, you know, obviously is not going to make changes. And uh, yeah, while my Clyduel can take out this Type Lotion. He still has a fake out, Ludicolo left, and he got an eye shot, Glazion left, which means he got two priorities, and both my perks are down to pretty much, you know, unces of health, where pretty much the sun itself can take them out by the shine alone. So his Glaze is gonna come in and actually rack this game up, and um, yeah, basically Esquilo, you know, GG man. It was definitely a very, very fun battle, and um, like I said there at the beginning, being uncomfortable in a tier and being uncomfortable in singles is definitely not the same thing as uh, being in experience in them. And you definitely showcase that you know exactly what you're doing, which made this battle quite fun to be honest. And I'm very glad I had a chance to battle you on even grounds, which is of course in singles where 
I feel a bit more comfortable, and it actually turned out to be a very close game. And um, yeah, pretty much GG, man. GG. So I really hope everybody who's, you know, stay tuned here and came in, really enjoyed this battle. As you see, I decided to take the Typhlosion eruption against the Brisian as a, as a obvious nice picture because it was just such an intimidating sight to see Brisian, you know, through the fires, standing up and, you know, retaliating with a close combat like it was nothing. But, yeah, I definitely, I, you know, I'm not going to take the victory away from my opponent because it was definitely serving it, it did the right place and we're definitely evenly matched, but I definitely should have mo made more since I were in an oh how to put it in a bad position I should definitely made better calls and you know play them more risky and actually losing way bigger if that were the case but I played it safe there in the late game and I did that because I really thought I could come through but that was honestly not the case and my opponent winning was definitely like to be honest it was a fair fair deal for me and uh, I hope to battle him in the future because like I said he was definitely a good battler and uh, he's great in VGC you guys should definitely check him out so of course you know guys thank you for watching as always of course and remember to leave a like and if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and remember the sky is the limit so good guys and take care alright bye